What is the hardest thing you have ever said no to? $30,000 for marrying a guy for a green card. I was 18. Broke. And seriously considered it for a week. Dude my mom has the same thing happen but for less in the 80s. Ended up doing it and was questioned hardcore by the US government in an interrogation room and held for two weeks almost. Didn't end up working in the end. You probably dodged a bullet to be honest. My GF of 3 years came home drunk. After telling me she had been at work. And I told her she could either tell me the truth of where she had been or we were done. After being with someone for 3 years it's painfully obvious when they are drunk. This was the third night in a row of her coming home wasted and I was done dealing with her lies. She walked out and I told her we were done. A few days later she texted and called. Telling me how sorry she was and that she wanted me back. Telling her no was the hardest things I had to do. Turns out she had been cheating on me for a month and her most recent hookup was done with her shit too. Man was that a rough time. I walked to the bars when I was in college. This night was in the dead middle of a Wisconsin winter and snow had been falling for a few hours. As I approach a dark intersection, I see this woman stumbling. I asked if she was okay and she said that she was trying to get home. She couldn't even pronounce where she lived. Thinking to myself, this girl needs help I tried taking her to a pizza place nearby to get warm and maybe some water. They told me that she was too drunk to be there so I tried explaining the situation to no avail. We start walking in the direction that she thinks is right until she meanders down an alley where two random, older guys get out of a pretty old and beat up pickup truck. This is where it gets weird. They immediately asked what she was doing so I explained the situation. By this time an hour had passed and I can only imagine how long she had been out. So they invite us into their apartment. I decline at first thinking exactly what you are thinking now, but ultimately decide against frostbite. I look into this apartment complex and it's pretty run down. I hear some yelling across the way, some mold on the walls and when we enter their apartment I see low lit rooms and mess everywhere. It doesn't seem too pleasant. The guys turn out to be fantastic gentlemen. They laid her down on the couch, got a blanket for her, offered me a beer, and we watched the Florida Florida State game while she sobered up. After an hour or so she wakes up and tells me where she lives. We call a conservice to get her home but all estimates are 3 plus hours because of the snow and all the other people taking cabs, before Uber. The guys offer us a ride. I don't know who raised those men but I fully appreciate human beings like them. Anyway to answer the initial question, the girl started to feel my crotch while we were in the truck. Fully grabbing my dong like a cocktail weenie on Super Bowl Sunday. The guy is laughing quietly to himself. He drops us off and the girl invited me in. I declined saying that I had to get to my friends who have been waiting for me the last 3 hours. TL. Doctor sex. I declined sex. Last night I took my 9 year old son to see his mother at a local pizza joint. She asked me in November to keep all 3 of our boys through Christmas because of her drug addiction. Although she has custody she showed up ready to fight and I called the cops. When it was all said and done and the kids were loaded up in my car she hands our birthday boy his present. A kitten. Not only do we not have the finances or desire to keep an animal at the house. My girlfriend's son is deathly allergic to cats. I had no choice but to tell my crying child we cannot take it home under any circumstances and therefore dealt with the fallout for the remainder of the night. No one ever told us being an adult could suck this bad. Found a little wallet picture thing full of photos of a family with 1200 cash stuck inside in a gas station restroom. I was standing in line holding it, to turn it in, and a woman rushes to the restroom and then comes out all frantic. I step out of line, ask her if she lost something, she tells me yes. I give it back to her and she starts ranting about how all the money better be there and calling me names. Screaming about how I was going to steal her money. The gas station clerk and a bunch of people are arguing. I'm wondering where the hidden cameras are and wishing I had kept it. Yay humanity. I was once at dinner with a few friends and went to the bathroom. After taking a tinkle, while washing my hands, I noticed a blank Bank of America envelope next to the sink. When I opened it, there were 7 fresh stacks that added up to $7,000. I stayed in that bathroom for a solid 5-10 minutes just contemplating what I should do. 
It's one thing to say you have the integrity to return something that isn't yours but another to hand over $7,000 to a stranger, restaurant or someone who claims it was theirs, without knowing if it'll actually get to the original owner. Right as I was about to leave the bathroom, still unsure what I was going to ultimately do with the money, I remembered that the last person in the bathroom before me was one of my friends who I was at dinner with. I was also with him earlier in the day when he mentioned that he had to go to Bank of America to withdraw some cash to pay for his birthday dinner the next night. He's a foodie and he was renting out a restaurant for 30 of his friends to enjoy a custom menu. 90% sure it was his money to pay for the dinner the next night. I went back to our table, sat next to him, and asked him if he was missing anything. Right when I finished asking him the question, his eyes grew huge. He frantically started patting down all his jacket pockets, and stood up from the table. At this point, I grabbed his arm and told him that I had his money. As much as it would have been awesome to find $7,000, it felt even better to say no and be able to return that money back to my friend and not ruin his birthday. Had my boss's wife approach me at the annual office Christmas party and asked me if I wanted to have a threesome with them. When I turned her down, she offered me $1,000. Still said no, so she upped it to $5,000. I politely declined, but I was dying on the inside. He was hot. His wife was hotter. I thought he'd be awkward as fuck afterward, but it was never mentioned between us and we carried, on as usual, wound up working for him for 5 more years, and when I left, they threw me a huge baby shower and purchased all of the baby furniture I had registered for. Still keep in touch today, 15 years later. I used to be a slot machine attendant in a casino. I was the person who would hand pay jackpots that were above $250. One time a guy won $150,000 and offered me $1,500 as a tip. Unfortunately, the casino that I worked at was owned by the government, and I was not allowed to take tips. It was so difficult to decline $1,500 was more than I made in an entire week. Decided not to study abroad in Australia because my dad wanted me to help him out with his business. Well a year later my dad gets diagnosed with cancer and I help run the business and help him go to all his treatments. He beat all the odds but still couldn't beat it and died 5 years after being diagnosed. I was upset I didn't get to travel the world but those years were the best years of my life with my dad and I wouldn't trade it for anything even though I ended up going 8 grand in debt trying to save his business when the market crashed it hit his business hard. Letting my son move back in. It was a continuous cycle of him getting arrested, drinking and doing selling drugs. He knew how to make me feel sorry for him. He had nowhere to stay. He was hungry. He just wanted to take a shower and so on. I finally realized that I was the one that allowed this to continue. So I had to start saying no to him. It broke my heart. But I had to do it so he could learn to take care of his own problems and to be held accountable. He hit rock bottom and did some time locked up. It was hard for him to get a job after he got out and he did try to play his mind games with me again. But I stood firm. It was hard on both of us. But it was the best thing that I could do for him. His PO got him in a program with Mission St. Louis and turned his life around. That was two years ago. He is doing great now. He is working two jobs, taking care of his sons and staying out of trouble. I'm so proud of him and what's even better, he is proud of himself. Reply to previous comment. Good for you. I wish I had said no to my adult son but I didn't. I allowed him to live with me for most of his life and he used me until I had nothing left to give. He turned 43 last month. Early last year my son came into a large sum of money. Very large. He refused to help me with the bills that he helped run up. He bought a couple of houses but still refused to move out. My son hasn't always treated me with any respect and when he got that money he began being very abusive. Mentally, emotionally and verbally abusive. He changed drastically. My son and I got into a confrontation and he challenged me to a fist fight. I am 62 years old and am his mother. He pulled a gun out of his pocket but didn't brandish it in my face however. He made damned sure I saw it. I just sat here very calmly looking at my son and I told him he had completely lost his mind. He even told me on the phone that he should have killed me long ago to put me out of my misery. I knew I could have him evicted but that would take too long and it would be too expensive. 
I was advised by a police officer to get a restraining order against my son and that's what I did. I haven't had any contact with my son in a year. Take some advice young parents. Don't let your kids walk all over you no matter how much they try to manipulate you. Use tough love. Once they become adults, things get worse.